starting today's video off in my truck because I am actually on my way to Tri-County. Um, I call it Tri-County Honda. It's probably not completely accurate because they sell literally players, Kawasaki, Yamaha. I think they sell everything but Suzuki. They even sell like trailers there. So basically anything you need, you can show up with a truck and want to buy something that you can't haul and you can take it home on a new trailer too. So it's, it's perfect. Um, I've been working pretty closely with one of the owners there and they're just, they're just super cool guys. I love, you know, like everything they're about. And I really, really like how they sell things as far as like my 110 I called all the places that were probably what I would consider the most local to me and had prices for my 110 uh, a, a little over three thousand dollars on my 110 I actually called uh, Tri-County talked to Simeon one of the owners and uh, they ended up beating that price by like eight hundred dollars so I mean there's no freight no setup it's awesome anyway I I'm a little embarrassed to admit this, but when I rode the 110 for the first time the other night, uh, about halfway through riding, blew the tube up. I didn't blow it up, but it started leaking. Um, I don't know if it rolled a little bit, which is, it's weird because I have a rim lock. I wouldn't think it spun, but anyway, I had another tube there already. Tried to put it on, popped it, trying to put it in. I, these little tires are difficult. I've seen a lot of things online about people and like how they do it. I've seen this company, it's called like the Baja No Pinch. It's that thing that slides in the axle and you can like pull, it pushes the tire out instead of trying to pinch it in. Um, I don't have one and they're kind of expensive for someone that doesn't change tires a lot. Um, but anyway, I need a new rear tire anyway. I decided after riding the other night, if you saw some of the clips, um, I just, there's no traction at all in anything soft with those stock rear tires, especially with a fat bald kid like me riding a little kid's bike. So I'm running down there. Um, I'm actually gonna just throw the bike in the back because I wanted these guys to check it out. They haven't seen it since it was stock. Um, and you know, I'm excited for some of them to check it out and see what they think. And uh, kind of show you guys around Tri-County a little bit because I mean, a lot of you guys watching this may be like somewhat close to me or in the area, and I would highly recommend you check these guys out. I don't know if any of you guys are local enough to me that you know the road it's this is called corridor h i i kind of call it like the road to nowhere um it's it's probably the the weirdest road i've ever drove one in my life um i work like dc northern virginia area a decent amount and certain parts of northern virginia it's way faster to go this way because this road goes pretty close to a lot of the places that I have to at least be on the outside of and then I can dodge a lot of traffic instead of like going through like beltways into Northern Virginia but I I still haven't figured out maybe there's someone that'll watch this and know that could explain to me what the purpose of this road was because you can literally drive 50 miles on this road and see five other cars See what happens? Bring a bike down here, and they just take it. It just took it from me. He acts like he's taking it back for service, but I think he's actually going to go out back and put it on the track. What do you think? How'd I do? <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling like I may have just sparked some interest here. He's been really looking this thing over. Feels better than mine. Mine's old. Mine's like an old.
pretty sure this is what I need next. Can I set this on your desk so it doesn't fall out of my pocket? Yeah. I didn't want to drive it, leave my truck unlocked. <laughs> yeah, right? That you could maybe hit this on a 110. Yeah, so yeah, yes. Yeah. I'm gonna take like two laps yeah. and get some GoPro footage.
picked up a couple things I needed for the shop. Got to take a test ride. Ooh, that is bright. On the pit bike track they got back there. Ton of fun. Got some GoPro footage. Hopefully it's good. Um, the track he said hasn't been cleaned up for a while and it's rained a ton so it is like insanely muddy back there but the whoop section oh my god i'm gonna have a blast with that um fork seals are blown out so it's uh gonna be a lot more fun once i get my suspension completely figured out and don't have all these issues but uh yeah that's it man tri county it's a place to be this thing off because I'm super OCD about that it is literally 37 degrees here it was 56 degrees in Tri-County <laughs> Freshied up. I'll let you guys check this tire out when we get back to the shop, but like I can't believe what a difference it made. All right, here you go. Here's a better look at the new tire. This was the only one they had. It, uh, try to brighten this up a little bit. There we go. Here is compared to the old tire. And this tire looks like it has traction, but it is just so unbelievably soft. For me being so fat, it, uh, just wasn't grabbing. These are really firm, should be a lot better in this soft stuff we ride over here. But pretty pumped with how this thing looks. Here's here's the exciting package for the day. This is actually, the kid asked me how he should send this motor and I said the only people that I had ever seen send motors, they put them inside of a cooler and packed it up. So he literally <laughs> took an igloo cooler packed it up, put the motor inside, and then screwed the lid on and just threw some cardboard around it so he could put a label on it. But I'm gonna open this because I haven't really seen anything other than pictures yet. chain link removal tool. DeWalt makes them. <laughs> That's pretty much it for today. Nothing crazy. I was super pumped. Uh, the guys at Tri-County are always awesome. I wasn't expecting to get to test my new tire on their little track out back. I really can't wait until it's not muddy and it's cleaned up a little bit down there and I get the fork situation figured out with my 110. Um, I picked up in the shop a little bit. I shuffled some stuff around in here because I feel like we're constantly moving <laughs> around in here with just whatever we're working on. So I made like a little mechanic area right here. We're going to finish his 230 this week and then I have to do the forks and some other stuff to my 110 which you're going to see soon. And then I have all these motors I need to work on. If you go back on the channel and watch, there is a teardown video of this CR125. It's actually just in crates and boxes all the way over there and then the motor's here. I am going to do a full rebuild on this motor, crank everything. Um, I don't know if it's completely, like the bearings are totally shot, but the clutch is burned out of it. Not completely, but it's not good. It's slipping real bad. And there's just, I don't really know enough about the bike to know that I shouldn't replace everything. So I'm just going to replace, the, uh, just rebuild the whole motor. And then these are the motors that you'll see me working on basically sometime this week. So this is my stock 50 motor. Um, it came off of 
the frame and stuff that you can see on that card I've showed you guys before. This motor is getting, the, some of the parts are there, and then some of the parts are here. This is a clutch kit, dress up kit. I actually bought two of these, the other one's not here yet. Um, basically, it's, it's that whole 88 kit with race head. Um, so basically what this motor is getting is what this motor already has. This is the one I just bought. I paid 400 bucks for this. I was super pumped. This is a stock Honda motor with the 88 big bore kit and the race head put on and then obviously bigger carburetor, all that stuff. And then on the other side, you can't really see here. It's got a, this one actually had the manual clutch kit put on. So you have an actual clutch. I am not doing that to this one because I want one of them to be automatic. This one is probably the one that's going to end up on that Sano or Sa Sano, Sano, Sano. I've heard people say it so many different ways. The roller you saw me buy that had the Fox float, that's what this motor is going to go on. Then I'm going to redo this one, put it on the stock frame. And then this bike, the old trusty 110 that I feel like everyone, it's the reason they probably even watch this channel, is getting the stuff in this envelope. It is a bunch of parts from Cameron Jones Racing. I'm not going to go into crazy detail because I want it to be a little bit of a surprise, but he sent me a bunch of stuff and I am insanely excited to put them on. So what I'm going to do is kind of set up a video where we do some stock like tests, like timed run type things with the bike like it is now, just with the pipe and suspension and that kind of stuff. And then I'm going to put all the stuff from CJR on here and do the same runs again and see, and obviously just give you guys my thoughts. I've seen the videos, I've seen the dyno charts, like, these things are pretty choked up stock, so it's going to be a ripper and uh, should be a ton of fun. But anyway, that's it for today. Um, you know, YouTuber stuff, merch, subscribe, that kind of stuff. I'll see you in the next one.